When winter weather strikes, so does salt. It's everywhere. Roads, sidewalks, driveways. But what makes sodium chloride king when snow and ice start to fall? We know that water freezes at 32 degrees. Um, and so under freezing conditions, um, you would form ice on roads and bridges. Uh, if you can lower the melting point, or the, actually the freezing point of water, uh, then you can make conditions safer because we aren't forming that ice on the roads. I visited Dr. Van Horn at his lab at UMKC to get a more in-depth look at why road crews depend on rock salt during the winter months. We set up two test tubes inside a sub-freezing solution of 21 degrees Fahrenheit. One test tube is filled with water and the other includes water with a salt solution. The sample without the salt. This is kind of your slushy slushy stage right there. What you do not want to see out there on the road. Right. And then when you add that salt solution, that stays liquid. liquid. That's science, and it's what road crews and public works departments depend on every winter. It gives us a little bit of a, of a head start on it, a little bit of an advantage. The salt you see on the roads come from salt mines in south central Kansas, and Lee Summit has tons at their disposal. Each dome holds 3,000 tons, so altogether Lee Summit has 6,000 tons in storage, and 6,000 tons is pretty close to being what we need in a typical winter. In addition to the tons of salt, cities use several solutions they can use to combat the winter weather. Here at this facility, we have three um, three different chemicals that we can mix with. The first one's salt brine. Uh, we also use a calcium chloride. We use that when the, when the temperatures get really, really cold. And then we also use uh, beet juice on occasion. The use of each of these chemicals depends on the air temperature and the type of frozen precipitation. We have uh, around 10 mixtures that we use and we try out, but uh, typically if we're, um, if we're applying rock salt, and we'll, we'll put beet juice on it just so it will it'll stick to the roadway a little bit better. If the temperatures are really cold, we'll, we'll play around a little bit with the mixtures. A lot of it depends on the type of snowfall we see and the temperatures and, and just the overall conditions. But unfortunately, there is a point that preparation, pretreatment, and plowing just aren't enough. The effectiveness of, of salt uh, decreases very quickly depending on the temperature. Now take a look at this chart. At 30 degrees, one pound of salt will melt almost 40 pounds of ice. If you drop that temperature by just five degrees, you need a lot more salt to melt that same amount of ice. So the lower the temperature goes, the less effective salt becomes. Despite the challenge of the bitter cold, they're still out plowing and treating. We'll use it all the way down to zero, but you have to understand, uh, we may put rock salt down when it's five degrees outside. Uh, typically what that'll do is it'll burn a little hole right through the ice and it'll sit at the bottom of, of the ice, uh, right at the pavement layer, and it really won't do anything more till you start to get some traffic action, maybe a little bit of sunlight uh, to kind of help get the temperatures up. Road crews work around the clock before, during, and after a snow event. Our work crews really do care. Um, they want to deliver and, and provide a high level of service to, to our customers, as I said. Um, please uh, give us a little bit of grace as well. It becomes very difficult for our snowplow operators. You know, they're plowing 12 hour shifts. Man, I know, seeing that video, like, maybe cold. I was about to say. Holy cow. <laughs> Here we go, but it was fascinating. Thank you for, to Lee Summit for allowing us to kind of get into their public works Absolutely. operations and kind of get a little taste of what they do to prepare for the winter. I mean, I'm fascinated by the chemistry of it all and why yeah. salt really is the, and how they have 10 plus mixtures, different combinations that help to melt that snow or ice so depending on the temperature. New appreciation, you know, the thought they have to put into it yeah. on every different forecast. So that right. part was part of, that story was part of last night's winter weather special, which included our forecast check from this year and compared to last year, right? Talk yes. a little bit about how we did.